here once again you are welcome to my youtube channel queen rami talks guys this wouldn't be a proper video if i don't take some time to acknowledge and appreciate each and every person who has been supporting this channel since we started last week thank you guys so much for all the views for all the comments and for each and everyone who is sharing the link and how can I forget to welcome our VIPs, huh? To all our new subscribers, guys. In just one week, we managed to get ourselves 41 new subscribers. <laughs> guys, you will not regret. Thank you so much for subscribing. Please don't forget to hit on that notification bell so that each and every time when I, I upload a video, you won't miss it. I will make sure that I keep you excited for wanting more on this YouTube channel. Guys, as we are all aware, we are going through a lockdown. Um, it's a very tough time for many of us, but let us continue to stay positive even during this pandemic. Let us continue to protect ourselves and our loved ones. So guys, I just feel like I need to clarify this as we are going to go into today's topic. Um, I specifically named this channel Queen Rami Talks because we will be doing a whole lot of talking on this channel. I'll be bringing a whole lot of people who are coming, who are coming rather to be a blessing in your lives. So I'm very excited for all those people they are getting ready as we speak. They are preparing themselves to come and be a blessing to you. So let us continue to tell people about Queen Rami Talks. Let us bring, let us double that number of subscribers. Okay, guys, um, as you can see today, <laughs> um, I'm wearing a top written, created with a purpose. For those who are not aware, I'm a founder of Queen Rami's clothing range. So in our clothing range, we are selling this top. We have it also in black for only 150. So if you are interested in having this top, we deliver everywhere in South Africa. So if you are interested, hit me up there in the comments and then I will do a follow up for you. Only 150, you get this top that is written, created with a purpose. Which brings me to my topic of today. Purpose. Answering and understanding why you are on earth. I believe with all my heart that God doesn't make mistakes. And I also believe that God doesn't create nobodies. So as many as we are on this earth, there is none of us who is born for no reason. There is none of us who is born just to add to the number of people on this earth. Each and every one of us is carrying something or has something in them that no one can do better than you. So you need to find out your why. You need to find out why you were born. You need to allow God to reveal to you why you are on this earth. Which brings me to the part where I will be saying, maybe someone may come to me, how do I realize my purpose on earth? The only way to know your purpose is by going to that one who made you, which is God. And until, for many of us, until you are in alignment with that which God has called you to be, you will never be fully satisfied. You will never be fully happy. And purpose is not defined by the family that you come from. Purpose is not defined by the money in your bank account. Purpose is not defined by that person who is sitting next to you. Purpose is not defined by all that you have or by the titles that you may carry. Purpose is defined by who you are in God. And what God has created you to be. So purpose is not a destination. Purpose is a journey of becoming. And only by becoming that which God has called you to be. So it will bring me to my next point where I will be saying purpose brings direction. 
So we cannot afford anymore to be a generation that is living a meaningless life. To have a meaningful life will bring you direction. And direction only comes by being in alignment with the purpose of God in your life. So now your main assignment, your main issue now is to go and find out what you were born for. Why were you born? Maybe someone will ask me, do I know? <laughs> you know, for me, when I was young, when I was little, even now I still do that. I would find myself standing by the mirror, addressing nations, you know, speaking the word of God, you know, speaking to myself. And I realized, and I went back to God, why am I doing that? And God said, you are called for nations. So it is up to you that when God tells you your purpose, what do you do with it? Some, they take what God has said and sit down with it. And for many reasons. So it, which takes me to the point of saying purpose needs preparation. There is no way God can tell you you are born for greatness and then you sit in a corner and feel sorry for yourself and want people to come and brush you or tap you on the back to validate you. You cannot. The minute God tells you who you are, you need to rise up from your ashes. You need to stand up and believe what God has told you about yourself. Some of you, you don't believe what God has said about you because of the things that you have been through in your life. Let me tell you that your past does not define you. Actually, your past is a stepping stone into becoming that which God has called you to be. Your past, your stories can and will bring a solution to the next person. But until you believe that, you will remain in a place of shame where you don't believe in yourself. After you have prepared for all that God has told you that you are, you need to be ready for criticism. Being criticized does not mean you need to back down. Some people, once they realize that you are stepping out of your comfort zone, you are, going, you are coming out of your shell, they will try to bring up your past. That's another sign of knowing that you are on the right track. So for some people, they take that as a sign that they need to back down. No, that is the time where you need to even rise above anything that may be brought your way. So criticism, there's positive criticism and there's a negative one. So whatever negative thing that may be brought in your life with the aim of shutting you up or shutting you down, don't take it. I will give this example. I was working for a certain company and then um, the boss there came to me and said, you know what, miss, you are very loud. You need to calm down. <laughs> you know? And when she said that, I was very shocked, but I just took it as it is. Long story short, I left that company. I went into another company. When I got there, the boss said to me, you are very quiet. <laughs> you know, so that for me, it was just a confirmation that no one has power to define you except God. Your true definition is found in God. And until you are in alignment with that definition, people will define you. And you will even end up believing it because you are not seeking for the true you. So don't allow yourself or do not succumb to any negative thing that is said about you. Which brings me to my last point about purpose. You need to accept, rather, you need to train yourself to accept that which God has said you are. Accepting comes with a whole lot of things. It comes with maturing. It comes with growth. There is no way you can stand before kings with some bad behaviors that you used to have in the past. The Bible will tell you that your gift will make room for you and it will make you to stand before kings. When you are standing before kings, 
there are certain, certain things you don't do. So that comes with channeling yourself to become, training yourself to become that person. Meaning that jokes that you used to laugh at three years ago, they, they will not be funny anymore. You need to be ready to be told that your character does not allow you to be a certain someone. You need to be told that your confidence uh, your confidence is too much. We They will mistaken it for arrogance. They will tell you that you think too highly of yourself. But you don't need to take all those things that are said by you. Purpose will cause you to shut any voice that is not from God in your life. I hope with all that I've said about purpose this far, somebody is ready to come out and become that person that God has called them to be. Some of you, you are sitting in a corner right now. You don't want to believe that you are an author because they will tell you that you did not go to the best schools. Some of you ladies, you are supposed to study women's ministries because you went through some abusive relationships where you were beaten down, but you came out. You don't look like what you went through. But you are not ready to start that because you think people will think that um, you are making things up or you are lying. Come on, woman, rise up. Come out of that shell and become that which God has said you are. There is no time like the present to start now. Some of us, like me, I have recently started a foundation. Does it mean I'm a millionaire? No, it means that with the little that God has given me, I'm ready to share it with the poor. I'm ready to share it with the next person. So what are you waiting for? What if your purpose is to help the person who is poor so that God can open more doors in your life? Until you are in alignment with your purpose, you will never be fully satisfied and happy. So my assignment to you now is go and find out. Do some introspection. Search yourself. And go and ask God, what is my purpose? Why am I alive? Why was I born in that family? Why did I marry that man? Why am I friends with that person? Start finding reasons for your existence. I hope with all that I have said, I can touch at least one life. You know, the problem with us is that we want to start and become a solution to crowds. Sometimes you are just a solution to two or three people. And does that mean you should lose heart? No. It means that you need to acknowledge and accept that you are not called for everyone. You are not called for other people and that's okay so thank you guys so much for listening to me thank you guys so much for subscribing once again please let's double that number of our subscribers on our next video i really want to be more excited like i am now thank you guys so much please take care of yourselves and god bless you